We're catching up with Silva from Team Estonia Ace. Hi Silva, how are you? Hi, good. Good. What drew you to adventure racing? Why did you start doing adventure racing? Mm, okay, like... I found out it, about it uh, following another team. Uh, there was an Estonian team taking part in the World Championships like in 98 in Scotland and, uh, and also the races that they did before that and after that and I was following, uh, reading uh, articles about it and it, uh, it just seemed so interesting and, and uh, to explore and to be uh, on the snowy reaches of mountains at night and um, uh, it was just so appealing then and I started to do, do the shorter races as I had an orienteering background so it was quite uh, easy transition and then in uh, 2010 I think I did the first expedition race so that's how I got racing. And do you enjoy racing in a team? Uh, yeah I do pretty some solo races also and, and then sometimes solo racing is uh, easier, but uh, uh, our team now is such that uh, we are very uh, all like physically with the same capabilities about we are moving with the same speed and we have the same kind of goals so uh, we are a uniform unit and, uh, and uh, that, uh, that is quite comfortable so but, uh, you know, sometimes I have raced with uh, uh, People were when uh, team where some people are not so uh, strong maybe mm -hmm. and and uh, and of course uh, you can help them and, uh, and keep the team moving and this is also one part of adventure racing that is uh, interesting or fun or or rewarding but uh, but uh, when you're racing for a result then it's better to have a, strong. a stronger team uh, or more level uh, in every every aspect. So I was going to say. Adventure racing team is like a family, but you are family because you race with your brother and you and Timo and them have all been racing together for a very long time. You do other sports with your brother as well, rogaining or orienteering? Yes, no, we are like uh, all of our team uh, except Reda, the girl. Uh, we are from uh, orienteering background, so orienteering is uh, quite a good sport, a big sport in Estonia. and. Uh, we have been doing it uh, from uh, kids times so um, yeah my brother no, we have been doing uh, this rogaining yeah world championships uh, three four times and we managed to win three of those that was already like in 2012 to 14 and uh, but uh, there is a Funny thing about the Estonians, maybe, or, or the Nordic people, like also from Finland, and uh, that they don't uh, uh, communicate uh, very much verbally. They they communicate uh, with the presence, and uh, yeah. and uh, it, it is such that during the races we don't uh, discuss family matters and uh, go over uh, chit chatting uh, yeah. about something. Yeah. So we only discuss uh, some race issues and uh, and. Uh, and uh, usually we don't even have to discuss them very thoroughly because everybody knows what to do and uh, <laughs> and it's more like a silent uh, moving that is strange sometimes even for uh, me Estonian but, uh, but uh, somehow comfortable it, yeah. it doesn't bother us that we don't talk your Facebook profile has you listed as the manager for Team Estonia is Adventure what is your real job? Uh, I'm um, lawyer actually but uh, uh, late lawyering stuff and then sitting in the office has never been uh, my cup of tea actually so but uh, I still do some lawyering I have some uh, uh, consulting and uh, and do some court uh, cases and uh, but uh, another part uh, that I do for a living is uh, uh, I have a event center with uh, my uh, wife uh -huh. and uh, and we organize uh, events including some like treasure hunts and uh, small adventure races for uh, school kids 
and uh, and also some company events and 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 the third part now that is also quite uh, the big part already is that uh, with the team uh, to raise money for the world uh, travel and uh, and racing we organize quite many sports events now I think it's an ultra running event in February or January then uh, uh, Roganing in March and then a uh, small, smaller expedition in Estonia in June and then uh, some trail running races so that's also quite a lot of work already and well, the management keeps to seem, yeah. seems to keep you busy yes <laughs> and uh, like organizing the races this is my favorite part of the uh, work stuff that I do you know, lawyering sometimes is also rewarding and it pays the best but <laughs> But uh, yeah, there is a, the people are not so nice that uh, that you meet uh, in court, yeah. maybe because not they can sometimes <laughs> lie to you to your face and uh, and uh, smile at the same time. It doesn't happen so much in adventure, adventure racing. racing. Yeah. <laughs> Which countries or places in the world have you traveled to because of adventure racing? Uh, yeah, last couple of. You know, for like five years I've been quite uh, travel full of travel mm -hmm. so we have been uh, on uh, different continents every year and uh, I haven't been to Antarctica mm -hmm. so we've been racing on every continent now and then uh, you know, of course Brazil the world championships in 2015 getting lost in the Pantala Pantanal swamps that was maybe one of the most extreme experiences like uh, one of uh, my favorite uh, races has been Expedition Africa in Swaziland and uh, the amazing uh, cave there that we yeah. were like in a ants in a in a jar full of bees or climbing around uh, uh, round rocks underground so that was just uh, amazing How can this are there thing... any adventure racing world series events you still want to go and do uh, sure I'm waiting uh, somehow, uh, yeah, we're quite, quite close to it now here in Réunion, but uh, like Madagascar or Mozambique or that, uh, that part of uh, Africa there, or, or even like Ethiopia, or no, I, don't, I don't know if adventure races are ever going to happen there, but uh, those places seem nice. Uh, I've been trail racing uh, in Utah, the USA, but that would be a great adventure race place. Uh, of course, there will be uh, adventure races in Norway next year. This is amazing opportunity. The Sri Lanka World Championships, maybe, but uh, uh, I'm not very keen uh, to race in tropics. I like more the, uh, when it's more continental. Yeah. Climate. So uh, tropics, uh, you can get some nasty uh, diseases, maybe bugs and diseases. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, like. Uh, like here also in Re Reunion they said about the Tenga fever but uh, yeah. there were not really many yeah. many uh, uh, this buzzing uh, mosquitoes. insects, mosquitoes yes. yeah. and uh, of course yeah, always you think that you go to dangerous places like in Tasmania or Australia uh, usually Europeans think that oh, there are snakes there <laughs> and so it's scary but uh, both the uh, Adventure Racing World Championships like in our first one 2011 and and the second one 2016 during those two weeks uh, I think we only saw one snake so and we were going through the bush uh, quite a lot and uh, for hundreds of kilometers so it's mostly just uh, fair and uh, animals just flee when they when they hear somebody coming yeah. well there we have it from team Estonia is many places in the world to um, host a race Thank you very much. Yeah. We appreciate your time. Have yeah, a nice thanks. day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.